Okay, here is the setup. I want to do a mountain bike film, but more than just a trail video, which I've done before. Not a vlog, not like a full documentary, just a super fun film where just primarily riding my bike, doing some filming with these brilliant sunsets and sunrises, and then enjoying the time that we have. I was thinking, look. Twenty twenty has been a rather a crazy year, and who would have known it would be so different from what has gone before? I have a good job, and I am grateful that I can continue to work from home, and so make the most of my local trails. Do I miss travelling into work? No. And in fact, there goes my train. I appreciate the time that has been given back to me, being able to make much more of my day. My closest trail is the Caron Reserve. A narrow bit of land sunk in a valley following the Karen River. It is full of technical features which become even more tricky when wet. The colours this autumn were spectacular, especially after this hot summer. These are some of its trails. To get out riding in the morning or the evening, making most of the weather, seeing the sunrises and the sunsets are probably the things that have helped keep me sane. Riding the trails at sunrise you get the trails all to yourself in an incredible light. And if you're lucky, you can even hear the local woodpeckers, a rare sights around here. Being able to get out more on the local trails and having more free time allowed me to revisit the other bikes in my collection, the ones that have been gathering dust, to take them out and ride them again. So I've been fixing them up and see how they handle on today's trails. I've got to admit, it's been a lot of fun doing this, and riding the old bikes has added new spikes to the local trails. And we all pray, hoping for the light of day Down to the river I have held the devil's hand Felt the weight of my own sin Burdened by the heart of man Down to the river Down to the river
My local trails have evolved a lot in the time since I've moved here. Take tall wood for instance. In these trails the roots are exposed and test your learned memory, your muscle reactions. Old roots there to give you a flick should you lose your concentration, to remind you not to think about work but to command the line. In 2010 the number of trails here was about four and I could ride most of them most of the time and the trees were only so wide to let 720 mm bars through. They were truly natural trails where nature dictates the line you ride around the roots and the rocks and the fallen branches. You have to take them as they come, winding a sinuous course through the trees. Today there are easily more than 10 trails here. To the dedicated trail builders, hats off to you for your hard work. It is easy to go through life and overlook the things, especially those things close to you and around you, to fail to appreciate what you have. So take a step back and look at where you are now. Chances are you would not have imagined it a year before. Local trails sometimes drop out of favour, a bit like songs. Other songs, other trails become your favourite, but when you come back to them, those memories return. There's something in those local trails that reminds me why I'm here and makes me feel alive. I hope this video has inspired you to get out and explore your local area. Thank you for watching. Keep safe, keep well, see you guys later.